Good morning, fifth grade. This is Miss J. Today is Wednesday, May 27th. Let's jump right into grammar. Make sure that before you resume with the video, you've completed all of your grammar practice work. If you haven't done that, pause the video now and then come back. If you have completed all of the practice work, then you have your work in front of you with the pencil ready to make corrections. So we're going to go through some mixed review for the first portion of our practice work. Each of the sentences below is a compound sentence, has a compound subject, or has a compound predicate. Circle which applies to each sentence. There may be more than one that apply to each sentence. We know that a compound predicate has two or more simple predicates that share the same subject. And the simple predicates are joined by the conjunction and or or. A compound subject has two or more simple subjects that share, this, that share the same predicate. The simple subjects are joined by the conjunction and or or. And we know that a compound sentence is a simple sentence that has one subject and one predicate. Number one. My sister visited me last weekend, and we watched the Patriots game. So, my sister visited me last weekend. This part of the sentence has one subject and one predicate. So, that's a simple sentence. And we watched the Patriots game. We is our simple subject, and watched is our simple predicate. So those are two sentences that are related, that are joined together by and. So this is a compound sentence. Number two, the British, Spanish, and French build settlements across North and South America. The British, Spanish, and French are our subjects, and they build, which is our predicate, settlements. So this sentence is a compound subject. Because this is two or more subjects that share the same predicate. So it's a compound subject. And the sentences below underline the prepositional phrase, then circle the predicate. A prepositional phrase includes the preposition and the object of the preposition. So the entire team watched the basketball bounce off the rim. Off is our preposition, and rim is the object of the preposition. So off the rim is our prepositional phrase. Watched is our predicate. Number four, during the snowstorm, snowplow drivers worked hard and cleared the roads. During is our preposition. The snowstorm is the object of our preposition and what the preposition is referring to. So during the storm is our prepositional phrase. And our predicates are worked and cleared. Because that's what the snowplow drivers are doing. Number five, Old Town Road 
was the most popular song of the year. Was is our predicate. Of is our preposition. Year is the object of the preposition. So of the year is our prepositional phrase. The secret code for grammar for today is radio. R-A-D-I-O. Again, the secret code for grammar for today is radio. R-A-D-I-O. Combine the sentences below into one efficient and correct sentence. Number six, Maya thinks that dogs are adorable. Maya is allergic to dogs. With our use of conjunctions and pronouns, we're able to create a more efficient and correct sentence. Maya thinks that dogs are adorable, but she is allergic to them. Number seven, J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter series. J.K. Rowling has written many adult novels. J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter series and she has written many adult novels. Number eight, Yazin spent several hours studying for his science test. Yazin made excellent growth on his science test. Yazin spent several hours studying for his science test and made excellent growth on it. That's all we have for grammar for today. Make sure that you're making corrections if needed. And as soon as you complete that, head over to Google Classrooms to complete your grammar exit ticket.